Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant February release. Today we are going to look at more fun hamsters. Remember to leave a comment on these release videos for a chance to enter a drawing to win a prize from Mama Elephant. The release will be available on February 15th. Today we're going to take a look at more fun hamsters. This is Celebration Hamsters and these are sized larger than the little agenda stamps. I absolutely loved working with these and my favorite one is the little guy in the balloons. There's something about his cheek that is so cute and I love him so much. These are the coordinating dies for Celebration Hamsters and then also there's Party Scene Cover. This looks absolutely gorgeous cut out. It cuts out some strings and then also there's like different other dies that you can use to decorate the strings like little banners, little pennants, uh, little lanterns, and some balloons. I'll be coloring in these images today using Copic markers. I'm using the same markers that I used on my last card for the hamsters. I believe it's YR21, YR23 for the top of the head. It kind of has like a yellow orange brown tone to it. And then also E50 for the body and E21 to create some shading on the hamster body. So Mama Elephant is starting to make these larger size stamps um, using the little agenda characters. And I love this hamster, this celebration hamster stamp set. It was so, so fun to color. I loved it. Um, it was just so easy to color it because it was so fun. The images are so cute. And I love all the little themes. I love me like some cake stamps and some balloon stamps. It's so fun. And I really love the sizing on these because you can color a few images and put them on a card and it looks fantastic. I also really like the little agenda sizing because they're tiny and cute and I love making those grid type cards uh, where Mama Elephant has those grid cover dies and it's just so easy to plop, you know, the little agenda images on, you know, the grid dies and it looks super cute, but I guess it just depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm in the mood for little agenda with like the grid style type cards and then sometimes I like this sizing because you don't have to use as many images. I feel like I'm talking soft and I don't sound excited. I'm super excited <laughs> about this stamp set. I'm just trying to speak quietly because it's like nighttime and um, I don't want to wake anybody up. So that's why I sound a little quiet. I will put a list of the Copic marker colors I used down below and I for some reason was like totally into orange this month and I'm doing the orange and like pink and red like color theme. Um, part of the whole hot pink is because uh, one night I didn't want to go into the garage to get different paper and um, I had like hot pink paper in front of me so that's what I ended up using um, so that's the colors that I went with here um, so I'm just doing kind of like oranges and pinks and I really do love orange and pink together it's some of my favorite colors I also really love this set because it gives you the opportunity to use like fun colors like there's five balloons and you can choose like rainbow or um, like a different set of colors that you want and then you can have it match the cake and the cake has like different layers to color um, also that cake slice so it's really fun you can make every card look super different just by changing up the colors on like the balloons and the cake um, so I like stamp sets where um, you can have that opportunity to just color like different things and have fun with it. So back to the saga of having all my craft stuff in the garage. I really took my 
craft room for granted because I had it all set up in a certain way and I knew where things were like my little dish where I put water and you know where I have my little rag to like wipe off stamps and it's just like I had everything and I like totally took it for granted and now I feel like so lost not having like a setup um I just have like a little temporary table and it's just like I just feel like oh my gosh like where's my stuff um but I mean you just get used to like where stuff is at and you know to grab for and it just feels a little weird like just not having everything like set up where it used to be we are going to be using the party scene cover for these cards we'll be making two cards today and after you cut out the cover part of the die the largest die when you take out all the little pieces you're left with this fantastic set of strings and it looks like so good I loved it the first time I saw it and I took out all the little pieces I was like in shock it looks so good uh, the die set also comes with these tiny little dies that you can use to decorate the strings it has like little pennants little stars and little lanterns and balloons that you can use along with the largest die so here you can see the strings and i think they are just so fantastic i stared at them for a while after i cut it out because it just looks so good i'll be using one pink one and one white one and then i'll use um the card front uh, the opposite color so it'll be pink on white and white on pink i'm going to be taking a sentiment from the stamp set have a hamsterific birthday and then i'll just stamp it on both of the cards i just wanted to keep my cards simple today i wanted the dies to stand out because they just look so so good you could also use there's all of these inside pieces too and you could make a really nice like abstract like sort of design too. I guess you don't have to use it as strings because when I first saw the die set, I didn't know what it was until I cut it out, but you could definitely make some sort of like abstract sort of um, design with like the other pieces. So I've cut out all of my images from Celebration Hamsters and then I've just selected three to go on one card and two to go on the other one and i just loved how uh, this die set and this stamp set came together it looks so so cute i believe i used double-sided foam adhesive to pop up these images these hamsters are so adorable i i just love the hamsters so much so I've cut out the tiny little pieces and I'm using them as confetti for my cards um, just to decorate it like as if I was using sequins or something. But you can use like the little circles as little lanterns and decorate them, um, you know, on top of the string to create, you know, little lantern banners or you could also use the um, little they have little pennants also that would look cute. You could cut those out in different colors and just be really creative with like the extra pieces. Um, for mine, I just decided to make them um, as like confetti in the party that the hamsters are having. Um, Cause I wanted a little bit of um, interest to break up the color. And that is it. I'm calling these cards done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe and happy crafting. I will see you guys tomorrow for a fun Ada Zamora set. Bye guys.